Welcome to another short blog post. Can we still use a zip drive? 20 years ago, when I started software development with neighbors, uh, we obviously needed some more storage than floppy disks, and we got a zip drive for that, so I have a nice SCSI zip drive here. And I actually was curious to check if that would still work. In our office stock here, I have a USB SCSI adapter and a FireWire SCSI adapter. Let's check out what happens. The original power supply broke, so already 20 years ago, I made my own replacement for that. So, somehow that does not look so good. Hmm. Okay, USB 1 at its best. Let's see if this works. As the SIP is not providing SCSI turn power, this Raytalk Fire FR1SX is typically not using the plenty uh, of Firewire bus power, it's using SCSI turn power. So, this will, for some totally stupid reason, not turn on, on the SIP. So we need another power supply for that. How they could design it so that with a plenty of firewire power it needs a power supply is beyond my understanding. We have a light and a SCSI iOmega SIP drive. Let's insert the SIP. And it's not yet clicking of this. It's also not loading anything either though. No media phone. Okay, at least the emergency exit still work. At least it sees 250 megabytes set. Does not look so good, does it? Okay, let's try the USB 1 version of this one. This one. The thing does not want to work so much on the cube though. Okay, let's try slightly more modern G5 than just for the fun of it. Let's try FireWire first. Okay, let's see what happens on the G5. Found something. Hey, here it works, so maybe... Oh, does it? Wait a sec. Hey, it works. An old backup, 2001 GSMP. Interesting. That still worked. Should be risk or luck with this 100 megabyte zip. Also works. This is also some old backup. Very interesting. So you can have luck and an old zip still works 20 years later. So this is Raytalk IRX1 or FR1 SX whatever. Be aware on most SCSI devices it will require uh, power. Code for these USB 1 and USB 2 is not in the mainline kernel. I maintain and move a patch with me for 10 years. Actually this is only loading the firmware. When the firmware is loaded it's like a regular USB storage. I should probably get that mainline. I wonder if there's something important on it. Otherwise, I should probably make a longer lasting copy for the future. Probably more archaeologic value. Detected the USB mass storage. Let's see. I guess I ever only tested this patches with the scanner. No, it says at least this phone something. I tried this, I tried this, let's try this. Okay, here it works actually. While the USB 1 version worked on the G5, it did also not work with Linux inside VMware on a Mac on a USB 3 port. However, this is the only combination where the USB 2 version of the adapter works, while it did neither work on the G5 nor the Cube. So probably it's not 100% USB conformant in some details. Anyways, in theory, in some combination, uh, this adapter still works with my patch right now on Linux. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.